Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today we have a question that came in in one of the Power Excel seminars, and every once in a while you get a question that just kind of makes your head spin. The guy said, Hey, uh, I want to be able to protect the entire worksheet except for the green cells. Wow, that's a tough one. There's no good way to go through and protect everything except for the green cells. And this is one where I think the best solution is to go through and use a little bit of VBA. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select one of the green cells and we'll switch over to VBA with Alt F11. I want to do something quick in the immediate window. The immediate window is Control G. I'm going to say print active cell dot interior dot color index. That'll tell me that that particular green has a color index of four. Now we can go back up and insert a quick module here, insert module. And I'll create a new macro, I'll call it sub unprotect green. We'll say for each cell in selection, if cell.interior.colorindex equals 4, then cell.locked equals false, else cell.locked equals true, and if, and next cell. Um, now we have this tiny little macro here that will go through and basically look at all the cells in our selection. If the cell is green, it's going to unlock it, otherwise it will leave it as locked. So we'll select basically the whole area of the spreadsheet. Alt F8 will give me a list of the macros, run unprotect green, and we've now gone through and basically unlocked the green cells. Final step, tools, protection, protect sheet. And you'll see that if I try and change one of the green cells, it lets me change it. If I try and change any other cell, it's a protected cell. So now I'm sure the person who asked this question had a much more convoluted spreadsheet, lots of green cells. I guess if you had three, you could just go through and unlock them yourselves. Um, but certainly if you had a large spreadsheet and for some reason you needed to unlock all the green cells, just the input cells, using a little bit of macro code is the way to go. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.